Hey guys, it's Anusha from Simplier. It's my pleasure to welcome you all to this session. Today we will learn the five data structure and algorithm projects for your resume. In this video, we will discuss the five excellent data structure and algorithm projects for our resume, which will help you to understand the requirement of data structure and algorithms, and also with a job interview from fresher to top level experience. So let's get started. Before we move on, please subscribe to our Simply Learn YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get more update on the interesting and amazing videos like this. Do you guys know which is the algorithm used to create a Google Maps? Is that a depth by search, breadth by search, or a cross scroll? Stay tuned with us to know about that. And if you are aware of the answer, please mention it in the comment box. Eventually, when job placement knocks the door, students often get confused about which project to add on their resume. At that time, you may go for some of the project related to data structure and algorithms. Data structure and algorithms are the basis for some of the technologies like blockchain, big data, and most commonly required concepts in the interview, despite of your branches. Now let's have a look. What are the benefits you are getting in connecting the data structure and algorithm projects? The first one is uh, you will get to know the all the real world use of the data structure and algorithms, and the second one is a uh, it will help you in your placements. When your resume has some of the project related data structure and algorithms, the interviewer will get to know that you are aware of some of the concepts of data structure and algorithms, and also most of the questions in the interview will be related to that algorithm. So, whenever you do projects on data structure and algorithms, ensure that you are well aware of all these algorithms, like its space complexity, time complexity in its best case, average case, and worst case. With this, let's start with the list of projects on data structure and algorithms. We have five interesting projects, that is a snake game, a cash flow minimizer, Sudoku game, file zipper, and a map navigator. Let's explore one by one. Snake game. As we all know, snake game is one of the popular game on Nokia phone, which was released in the year 1998. Today, there are over 300 snake-like games just for iOS. You can also build a snake game just for yourself by using a linked list concepts of data structure. A linked list is a linear data structure in which elements are not stored in the continuous memory location. This game is very similar to a single linked list. Assuming that the snake head is the linked list tail and snake tail is the linked list head. Whenever snake eats the prey, an extra node is added to its tail. That is, an extra node is added to linked list head. This process will continue until the snake hits the boundary or itself. The second project is the cash flow minimizer. Cash flow minimizer is a net balance of a cash moving into or out of a business in a specific time. We are building an application to minimize the cash flow using the graph concepts. For example, let us assume three friends: friend one, friend two, friend three. Friend one has to give four k for friend three and two k for friend one, and friend two has to give three k for friend three. We can minimize the flow between friend one and friend two by direct pay to friend three by friend one. So we can create an application with the same mechanism for transaction list between n number of friends. The third game is a Sudoku solver. Sudoku solver is one of the most popular and interesting puzzle solver game, which are often found in the newspapers. This game has a board where we have to fill up integral values. With the help of a backtracking algorithm, we can build a Sudoku solver. A backtracking algorithm is a technique for solving the problems recursively by trying to build a solution incrementally, that is, a one piece at a time. Backtracking algorithm will start with a starting point, then an intermediate checkpoint, a point not getting a feasible solution, and a end with a feasible solution. Every piece of board will start with the starting point and reach the intermediate checkpoint. If the solution is not feasible, it will backtrack to starting point, and this process will continue until we get a feasible solution. The fourth project is a file zipper. 
If you guys remember, there were a game called Y City where we used to compress and write CDs and DVDs. At that time, there were no pen drives, so these are the applications were most useful. You can also build your file zipper software using a Hoffman Greedy technique or Greedy Hoffman algorithm. A greedy Hoffman algorithm is a lossless data compression algorithm which uses a greedy technique for its implementation. This algorithm is based on the frequency of the characters appearing in the file. The Hoffman encoder algorithm will accept the input file and encode it into a Hoffman coded file and stores it. The user can decode the file if they are needed. Last but not the least, our fifth project is a map navigator. Google map is the efficient application for showing the shortest path from source to destination. This is the most popular application is built using a Digistrust algorithm. We can also build the same application for the metro. We can consider the stations as nodes and distance between the stations as the edges. By using the Digistrust algorithm, we can also find the shortest time path or shortest cost path. As we all know, Digistrust is the efficient in finding the minimum distance between the nodes using the edge values. With this, we have reached the end of this session. Today, we have learned some of the interesting projects for your resume and its algorithms. Please like this video and share it to your friends and family. For more interesting videos, please visit the Simply Learn YouTube channel. If you have any query regarding any project on this topic, please mention it in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.